Howdy folks and welcome back to the garage for a second look at the Panzer IV Star Chaser. This is still the same excellent tank at tier 6 it was the last time we took a look at it, but for the benefit of the newcomers, there's a link to my previous review in the video description where you can get a complete listing of all the dry stats, etc. This time around I'd like to talk more about how it plays in the real world as opposed to against the bots that we have in our test clients that I had to use for the last video. This is not a frontline brawling tank folks, let's get that right. We're still riding on a Panzer IV chassis and with its 80-30-20 armor distribution and most of that armor being very flat indeed, I can hear you KV-2 drivers out there licking your chops thinking how nicely this thing will evaporate in front of your gun. But have a look at this. These side skirts really do a number on HE shells. KV-2 cannot pen with its HE, so Star Chaser only suffers splash damage. Not that the hit still isn't significant, of course, but it's by no means instant game over if KV-2 manages to square you up. Likewise, some other common tanks at Tier 6 also have their HE rendered null and void by these side skirts. Your hull armor will not stand up to the regular AP rounds of most Tier 6s either, so try and avoid exposing your hull if at all possible. The turret is quite good with a 120-60-60 armor distribution, all surfaces with some decent sloping of the armor. Still, there are Tier 6 guns who will penetrate you, so combine rapid forward and back movements with the turret turning left to right slightly to give an extra chance at a bounce. Thanks to the L70 75mm being able to fire with up to 10 degrees of gun depression, ridgeline work is quite a viable tactic for the Star Chaser. Long distance sniping is also viable with the excellent specs of the L70, but you may want to consider running the coated optics or even the binoculars to pump up that kind of, you know, low 240 meter view range. Traverse speeds, both hull and turret, are adequate for the type of work you should be using this tank for, but do your best not to get flanked by a speedy light tank. If they know their business, they will take you out. Top speed of 44 kilometers is also adequate, but definitely on the slow side in most tier 6 battles. Best to stick near your compadres if possible and to not get separated. You may need their assistance defeating tanks that are more mobile than yourself. Well folks, there is some insight into the Panzer IV Star Chaser. This is a good tank in many ways. Where it lacks, you will have to work to minimize your enemy's chances to capitalize on those weaknesses. Well folks, there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. And if you really enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments. As well, be sure to visit my social media pages, both on Facebook and Twitter. This is where I post info that, while not belonging in a video, it's worth taking a look at. I would also like to give a shout out to my Patreon supporters. You folks are making a huge difference for me. If you like what I do and enjoy the community all of us humans are building, please consider supporting the mission via my Patreon page. There are quite a few options with varying levels of support. Maybe one of them will suit you. Links to all things in the video description. Alright folks, thanks very much for stopping by and watching. I'll catch you next time.